Okay, next section of the kata. So we've just come around, we've done our Chuga UK, hook up back to Tetsui, get Amber Rai. The next section is up and MP, MP. Now again, this part here is repeated to on the other angle and so is this part. So I'm just going to show you one side, okay? Um, most basic, the most basic one is a bear hug. So I'll just, uh, we'll go this way. Most basic is a bear hug. So the one thing I just released, the one thing I've done with Tadashi is I've made this here come up inside and then release. The reason for that is because, bear hug, for that is because from this position we can come up inside and then and then from that position he can then he can't squeeze too much more. Um, it's a bit like um, just release. Really, it's a bit like a, it can be a bit like a snake. When a snake when a snake um, attacks a, a constrictor, what it does is it waits for its uh, it waits for its prey to um, exhale, and then it squeezes some more, and then it's hard to to breathe in again, and then and then it squeezes some more. That can be the same with this. So you're just gonna keep squeezing. Every time I let my air out, you're gonna squeeze in, okay? So from this position here, um, nice solid grip. From here, I'm okay to breathe and talk. As I let my air out, he can squeeze, which means it's then harder for me to, to breathe in. And then as I let more air out, and then it's harder for me to, to breathe, which, is, which isn't doing anything for me. So the first thing we do is we're gonna stop that happening. So as he puts the bear hug on again, we're gonna come up on the inside. Now, as I breathe out, and he squeezes, nice solid grip, squeeze into the chest, squeeze in. I'm stopping this, this happening, I'm stopping this, my chest being compressed by doing this. I can then come inside and drop into my sumo stance or drop into my cat stance, whichever stance you wanted to use, it doesn't matter. The main thing is this, use this as a strike backwards and this as a release. So nice and light for me. From here, we're gonna come up to stop the constriction happening and then release and strike. That's the most basic. And then the other one is in the car to we step back, but you wouldn't step back. If you're gonna use two strikes, you would sidestep. If you step back, that's just gonna push him back going to lose uh, lose momentum for this so we've gone one we can then sidestep and two okay so your bunkai would look something like this um you're in one and then from here two okay um the other thing that you can do with that is um Again, in its basic form, in its basic form, Mawashi MP or this kind of rising elbow can be used as straight punch, can be used as a block as well as you come up. So in the kata, it kind of comes around, around and upwards. So it's not like a full Mawashi MP and it's not like a hijiat, it's kind of in between. So it comes around and upwards. So we're going to use that as, as a block. We can also use the Mawashi MP as, um, from their punch, as kind of an armbar as well, if we are precise with this. But this action doesn't necessarily need to be arm to arm. This action can just be this. This action can be down onto the arm. So we can use that in this instance as well. Um, if it was a wrist grab, from this position, one, we've released. And then from there, it comes in with his punch again, two, we can come up and under with this. So let's imagine that his arm's, his arm's not supposed to bend that way, so let's imagine we've got the other arm, we can come up this direction. So just punch with this arm for me. One, two, okay? Um, if it was tight, so if it was, uh, let's just say for example, you come in with a hook punch, blocked, there's this arm coming up, block, and then in for the, uh, for the, Mawashi Hiji rising elbow strike coming around. We've gone into the throat this time. If we're in a low stance, we can go low. We can go low, then we can come high. And then we can just this way. Or we can, we can manipulate the head. So just that same thing again. This hand's come up to protect. We've come in one. So that's now this. I'm going to come around and use this to strike, so it can strike towards the head area as well. 
Okay, so that's just some basic things you can use for this. Um, wrist grab could be this. You know, uh, other side wrist grab could be this. Nice and strong. It's like, it's like 90 degrees in here, um, so we are, we are quite sweaty and, uh, and it's really, really warm, it's very muggy. Um, so from here, comes up, oh, it worked straight away, <laughs> it worked straight away, comes up and release. It was his other arm, for example, this is going to stay on top, but we can come up and then, I don't want to go fast because of where his thumb is, um, so let's just take the thumb out of the equation for me for now, and we'd come up and this direction. The reason that I said I don't want to go fast because of where the thumb is, is because if you just focus on, uh, on where his thumb is right now, which is here, as we come up, just imagine that thumb continuing this direction as we strike and we can pop the thumb, but we're going to use this to just release, okay? So that's again just some really simple ones that you can use for that.